Okay. Hello, everyone. Again. All right. Theory is always boring. But I think we, we, uh, we will try to make some fun now. Because what I teach now, I teach very boring subject. Acupuncture is a fun. But here we got together. As you know, we do the master degree. A lot of writing and you have just a piece of paper at the end. Uh, um, mainly for having a degree. We have to study books. And uh, um, now we do kind of the same, but we'll try to make it interesting because our profession is a challenge. Each and every patient is a challenge. Balance method allows us to have success and have understanding of how we can treat the patient with each and every person that knocks our door. And this is beautiful. That's why we are together here. And uh, this trick, the trick that had been worked out by Chao Chen, that five antique points can introduce the, like the whole arm, and that's why the whole body. So the distribution of the rule of gexagram goes through the antique points. Or well, six yards. So we just added yuan points and lower points and yuans, okay, to make it six because there are five antique points. That's it. It's all clear. Yeah. And now I will try to make more fun. We'll go through the case studies, okay? And you will work because it's very boring to listen. Much easier is to speak. To speak is easy. To listen is difficult. You know, um, I just realized that we don't we we don't know how to listen. We don't listen. We listen ourselves, and it's so difficult to listen to someone with open mind because we usually listen our criticism. We listen to our thoughts, but it's very difficult to listen with open heart. So I would like to ask you, when you listen to me, don't take everything as the rule. Please doubt. If we doubt, we open the door for our investigation. If you perceive that whatever I say is right, the door is closed. There is no way. You see it in my wisdom or in the wisdom of Chao Chen or Dr. Tan or whoever. But we're all human beings. So please don't close the door. Okay? Keep it open. Right. So the woman came to the office with uh, just feeling sick, overall sickness. How to understand whether it's uh, a sickness of um, Taiyin Yangming? Very easy, straight away, the pulses, the right hand, is like this on the side. You take the pulse in uh, uh, in uh, uh, right soon, and if this pulse is muddy and you can't feel it, it's like sponge, and it's low. It's not on the top because distribution of the pulses is like stairs. Yeah. Higher, 
more to the bottom, more to the bottom. Just listen to my lecture because now we can't cover everything. Uh, if it's a bit muddy, the, your first question is, oh, hi, your sinuses are a bit blocked. He said, oh, you're magic. But you don't see how you know this. If this is muddy, her sinuses are blocked. Or she may say, oh, not really, just a bit. And usually it's uh, Sun and Guan. They are a bit muddy. If the sinuses are blocked, if she's having a bit of cold, too. So two first uh, positions, Sun and Guan on the right hand, it's Tai Yin Yang Ming. Straight away, without thinking. Overall sickness, Tai Yin Yang Ming. So, uh, let's write it down. Uh, just a sec. Oh. Okay. Tai Yin Yang Ming. What is Tai Yin Yang Ming? A long, large intestine, stomach, spleen. Yeah. Let me do this. I don't have my assistant today, so all the IT stuff do I do myself. That's why it takes all my energy to uh, match the things. Okay, never mind. We will manage. All right. So, if we agree that we will describe the bodies uh, using Bagua. Let's, first of all, work out the lung. Let's do some training for the lung. Anyone remembers lung ID? We'll communicate like this. Pom, pom, <laughs> pom, pom. We have only three lines, it's trigram. But we need, how many lines do we need to describe the body? Six. Six. Let's double the quad. Why is people must be brave? They just do it. We just came up, let's double the quad. Uh, my husband is a theoretical physicist, and it's a nice profession. You can do as many calculations as you want, but if it doesn't confirm by experimental physicists, it doesn't work. So they came up with this system, but it worked. So this theory works. Okay, so let's double the gua. So this is long ID. ID. Let's double the gua. Pom, 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 pom. So we double, and this is long ID. You understand? Mm -hmm. ID. And there are six yaws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now, look, each yao, and for the long, long is here. You can see long, yeah. So first yao will be long 11. Second yao, look in here, long, here, where my cursor is, yeah. First yao is long 11. You can see we're taking it. The second yao is long 10. The third yao is nine. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, sorry, 11, 10, uh, yes, nine. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth yaw is eight. Seven and five. Seven is low point, low, yeah. Can you see that? And this is the basics. So if we speak, I repeat, if we speak about meridian, we have to double the ID of each meridian. And now if we double it, it will represent the whole system of human body. So we can work with it. With three, yeah, we can't work. We can work with six. So we must make it six and we must know which points represent which line, okay? And now let's say, okay, let's say, oops, let's say we want to equalize and see the harmony. How can we match it with the, the let's say the spleen meridian just out of the out of uh, let's say what we do spleen let's do let's do stomach oh, let's do stomach stomach what is stomach id Pam, 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 pam. We double it. Pam, 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 pam. So we have six lines. Let's see for the stomach. You will have all the hands out. I just didn't want to give it to you. Beforehand. Oh. Okay, that will work. Where is this stomach? Here. Stomach is here. Can you see stomach on the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, stomach on the bottom. So the, the lowest yaw is stomach 45. Then on the higher, stomach 44. Here, stomach 43, the third, stomach 42. Number five is stomach 41. And stomach 36. And now we want to put these two gigsograms in harmony to match them, to put them together. So they will work harmoniously. So we want the meridians to match each other. Okay, what do we do? We do one thing, we put the ID of one element next to another just a sec i will move the okay. so we'll draw next to lung stomach id And next to stomach, this is stomach. And next to the stomach, we'll draw the long ID. This is long. 
And let's see where the lines coincide and where the lines do not coincide. Yao number one, is it the same? It's the same, it's a yin yao. Yao number two, is the same? Yes. Yes, it's the same. Yao number three is different. Here we can see the yang yao number three in long, but in stomach is the yin yao. How to match them. And now it's very important. This is the concept that you have to accept as an axiom, but it works. Because we must match here yin, yao, and yang, yao. If we needle the yao or we affect the points, we change the meaning to the opposite. So yin will be changed to yang. Okay? So if we needle here the third yao, and third yao is long nine, here, number three, okay? We will match these two hexagrams. Now let's go further. Number four, the line number four is yin, the same. The line number five is the same. The line number six is different. Okay, so we needle, if we need a long, we needle the, we change the last yao, the yao number six, and this will be long five. What we have to do something with the stomach because stomach must be related to lung meridian. Let's see. The first line is the same. The second is the same, but we know already because the third one is different. We needle third line. And in this case, it's stomach 43. The third is the same, the fourth is the same. Oh, sorry, the, the, the fourth, the fifth is are the same. And number yao number six is different. Here is yin and here is yang. So that will be stomach 36. And this is the example how we match the different hexagrams, the different description of the channels, the different IT. We change to the opposite. We change the Yao that is different. And now let's come back to our patient. The patient came with overall sickness of the body. You just, you write down in your, like in the, in the office, in your clinic. Okay, someone came, the pulses are muddy. You understand that this is sinus problem. You understand that the, she doesn't have fever, but she has all body aching stuff. Uh, you know, this is not coronavirus uh, because this treatment will not help. We'll talk about corona later. Mm. But if this treatment is not helping, so something else. It can be uh, like um, uh, a check. So um, what else? Tiredness, all body complaint. 
So you decide to do what? Tayin Yang Ming. You decide to do Tayin Yang Ming. Meridian conversion. If she would come only with the sinus problem, only with the sinus problem, you will do Taiying Yang Ming, but in a different way, you will do for the sinuses. What you will do, you will do lung seven, for example. You will do large intestine four. You will do stomach 36 and spleen nine. Why? Because you image the sinus, yes? It's a right pattern, ta yin yang me, but the sinus. But now you have the whole body. So you need the six yao. You have the whole body sickness, okay? It's very, very important. If it is only sinus, do four points. Don't do conversion. If you, the patient feels well, but uh, the nose, allergic stuff, the liver pulse is okay. -ish. The tongue is okay. There is no liver, no stress. There is, but not as obvious. Okay, so you do the points. But the whole body sickness, we do meridian conversion. And now we will build it up. So, meridian conversion. Will be. Longer. Large intestine, stomach, spleen. And now we write the meridian ID for each meridian. For the lung, we already uh, um, done it. Pum, 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 pum. For stomach, we already done it. Pom 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 pom. For spleen, it's a sandwich with the uh, 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 salad, vegetarian. Pom 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 pom. And for large intestine, where the uh, the intestine is on the bottom, yes? Pom, 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 easy, yes? Pom, 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 pom. And now we have to match them, for example, like this and this, okay? Convert them with a meridian conversion to match them together, to put them in harmony. So they all work as one body. And interesting, when you do meridian conversion, and um, possibly some of you, all of you tried already, the body listens it. It has a, because all needles, they, they're together. It's like the finished picture. And the body understands the logic of the universe. So, Look, we already did the conversion for lung and stomach. I especially did it. So now I change, I will do it again. So I will change the color for uh, do, 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 black, black. Okay. So look, first we write the bagua. The, uh, the pattern that we're going to work. Then we write, we draw the meridian IDs for each and every one. Then to do the conversion, 
we need to draw the destination gua next to the original one. The destination gua in this case will be the stomach, okay? And here, that will be the lung. The large intestine, the distal will be the spleen. Can I ask why you um, balance lung to stomach when it's not like in, a, in one of the patterns? Say it again, please. Why we? So when you've got the different patterns, you've got lung balances large intestine, lung balances spleen, but normally we don't balance lung to stomach. Ah, I will, I will answer it later, but we will change it in a different way, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we'll explore few few ways. So you will find the best one. It's just an option. Okay. This is an option, okay? We'll just say, okay, let's convert them in this way. Okay, in a vertical way. Then we can do it in horizontal way. Then we can do it in diagonal way. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of, we're free. All right, okay. let's do this first. And we will find the best combination because we are researching. Okay. Oops. So in this case, this is stomach. Let me do it clear. Don't worry, we'll go through the boring part very quickly. This is the worst, but then it will be faster. This is stomach, this is lung. Agree? Just not to confuse. This is spleen. This is large intestine. Agree? So we just swap them. For lung and stomach, we're already done our investigation. So when we matched the, uh, the yaws, we know that the yaw number three and number nine, which is long nine and long five, needs to be changed. How we can change, we just needle. For the stomach, we already done our, inves our investigation, it's here. Okay, so yao number three and the same yao number nine must be changed. And in this case is stomach 43 and stomach 36. Okay, let's do our investigation for large intestine. First yaw is the same, the second yaw is the same, the third yaw is different, so we needle the third yaw. Fourth is the same, fifth is the same, the sixth is different. Let's see, what is the sixth yaw? Uh, num uh, sorry, uh, third and sixth in large intestine. The third yaw, you can see it here, where my cursor is, is large intestine three. Yeah, on the bottom, can you see my cursor? And large intestine 11 is the sixth one. KC point, okay? So, we draw So we say, okay, that number three, large intestine three, 
and large intestine, 11. And for the spleen, that will be the same, third and sixth. What are the points for the spleen? Let's see. For the spleen, you can see that the yaw number three is spleen three, and the yaw number six is spleen nine, right? All right. So we can now we can uh, do, 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 do. just a sec. Oh, name of it. I'm so sorry for the technical stuff. We'll just move this on the side. Okay. So we have spleen three and spleen nine. So congratulations, we've done our meridian conversion. To treat the whole body sickness caused by blocked sinuses and possibly infection, not the virus, is lung five and nine and nine, large intestine three and 11, Stomach, 30, uh, six, uh, 43, sorry, 43, and 36, and spleen, three and nine. And you do this eight points only, and nothing else. Questions, what we can add and what we cannot add? to the treatment. You can add, for example, sleeping points. Five sleeping points works beautifully. They work beautifully. You can add scalp acupuncture because it's in the middle, it won't affect. And you can add points on different meridians. For example, you can invite additional meridian as pericardium because it doesn't exist or any meridian that is not here. It's possible, but you must not put the third point into the same meridian. You destroy the Bhagwa and the wisdom of what we gain through the meridian conversion. So no additional points to this eight from the same meridians. This is the statement. Because Bhagwa, uh, what we can, the conversion is very stable. All the points are related. Is it clear? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't add any points to the meridian conversion, only if I really need it. I, uh, a question, please. I can add additional points on the same meridian and scalp. Yes, you can. It's in the scalp, but, but uh, well rather, uh, I can. Uh, would scalp some points there are the, the meridian go bladder or, or liver. No, I, I when I said scalp acupuncture, I mean do the meridian only do only. My, not uh, yes. and yes, do and when you can add. But only. to be honest, I when I do you have to highlight the treatment. So it should be very, very obvious reason you add do meridian because we can't do the same time. We destroy the, like, okay, okay. dissociate the treatment. Thanks. There is no space for that. So- And there's no need. It's a program. What you do is a program. 
for the body. You must work this way. The meridian conversion doesn't work as quick as a uh, local needling. In 10 minutes, possibly, you will see some signs of, uh, of the reaction, five, 10 minutes, sometimes earlier, but it's the whole body uh, change. It must not be so quick. So it goes slowly. And usually we keep needles for 30 minutes or slightly uh, more, sometimes 45, over, one, uh, over half an hour. You will see the change, definitely. Dr. Tan always said, if the patterns, if you find the right pattern, it will work 100%. So you will see the result. The conversion is absolutely beautiful, but we must use it. Um, we have to be right with the pattern. Um, so, all right. Now let's come back to the question Mark asked. Was it Mark who asked the uh, the? Um, if we can convert it in a different way. Yes, we can. Let's try. Eraser. So let's try. Let's try with the same pattern. Give me a second. Okay. Clean uh, is gone. Yeah. Now it's clear. Was bleed. Dum, da -dum, dum, dum, da -dum, dum. How good to know the, uh, the IDs of meridians. Now you have no doubt. All right. So let's convert them into uh, in a horizontal way. Yes. So next to the lung, we will write the large intestine ID. Yes, this is large intestine, by the way. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. And next to the large intestine, we'll write the long ID. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's see what had been changed. The first line is different. That will be number one. The second line is different. We needle to need, uh, oh, we have to needle that. The third line is different. We need to needle that. The fourth line is different. The, third, the fourth is different. The fifth is different. Right. So we can carry on, but of already, to be honest, no one would like to do that to the patient. We can do it, but we have to needle everything. So that doesn't work. You can do the diagonal way. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't work either. You can see it from here. So it's, it's not the best way to do. So actually, um, uh, after, some ex after many experiments, we come up that the pattern that how oh, the, uh, the conversion that we had done is the best one. And this is the basic one. And even, you know, the, the, the very good um, 
uh, these are points, they are on the wrists, on the elbows, on the knees and on the ankles. Even for children, you know, there is a very good trick. You know, this um, um, kind of, how is called the... Pachi. Uh, it's Pachi. No, no, not, not patches, but the electric, like, like a pen, electric pen. It, uh, it makes some sparkles or like, like non-invasive acupuncture, how it's called. You know the name. It's just in my Spanish world, I just forgotten English. I'm so sorry. Peso. Laser. Yes, 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 sir. What we do with children? Look, I will stand up for that. With a child, with a child, with all, all, all over. Uh, so look, you put your finger on the elbow and uh, put the piezo on large intestine nine. So, so you kind of embrace with the, with the electricity, you do your bagua with one finger and another one distal. Mm. You just put your finger on the, uh, uh, on the elbow, on the same meridian, um, uh, long five, yes? And you do piers on long nine with another hand. You create a circle. It's very quick, pum, 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 pum. Two hands, so four piezos. Only so distal. So you use uh, one point, uh, a normal acupoint uh, with your finger and the other acupoint will be with the laser. Yes, let's what? say laser. Laser on a distal, but you put your finger, the left hand, on the proximal. Mm -hmm. And they digest it very nicely. It awakes the system. Bum, bum. And usually I say, let's play the shooting game. <laughs> First they do the shooting, so they do like something to me. Oh, oh, I say, oh. And now it's my turn. Let's me do the shooting. So they do play this game. So something like this, because we must not be very invasive. It should be something like a game. It's a trick to avoid, to do the conversion and avoid needling. Yeah, and, and children react very quickly. I oh, did yeah. show the game with children and really they don't need anything. It's, it's seconds, it's minutes. And they Absolutely respond. Absolutely yeah. great. Adults must not treat children because children are much healthier mm. and better and clearer than, than us. They didn't reach the points of stagnation of uh, adults yet. So it should be a different way. Children treat us actually because they are doctors. We are already, we are too bad, sorry. Okay, so tying Ying and Ming pattern. In the same way, we do the whole, the, the, all the patterns, excluding complicated patterns like eight plus one. And uh, uh, gynecological treatment. Okay, let's do another one as an example because there are two options. Okay, and another one will be uh, doo -doo. will be for the patient who has the same symptoms but the liver is jumping and tight and wiry, the liver, I mean, the, the pulse. 
and you understand maybe the uh, the condition is caused by allergy. So it's allergic cold, let's say. So the liver is presented. So what can what could be the pattern? Hello, the audience. What will be the pattern? Juying, you mean? Absolutely. So yeah. that will be Ju Yin Yang Ming. Let, let me erase this. So we leave Yang Ming pattern. Uh, sorry, Yang Ming channel. And instead of Taiying, we put Ju Ying, Yang Ming, which is pericardium and liver. And for pericardium, we remember the shape of the heart. Pam, 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 pam. Uh, here I have to erase, I'm sorry. Oh. And for the liver, very easy. Pom 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 pom. And remember, liver and kidney, they share the same dexagram as an ID. They share the same ID. So the same principle will be for the next pattern: pericardium, kidney. Yang Ming, four magic uh, meridians of Dr. Tang. Okay, so let's see the vertical conversion. How it will go? We draw the stomach ID, double it, and see which lines are different. First and fourth, true? And the same we do with pericardium. Pam, 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 pam. That will be the same story, first and fourth. So number one and number four. If we go to our chart, we'll see that for pericardium, number one, it's here on the right, will be pericardium nine. And number four is low point pericardium six. So it's a nine and six. And for the stomach, that will be 45, 42. Okay, let's write it down. Pericardium nine and pericardium six. And for the stomach, stomach 45, and stomach 42. Okay. Let's see. Oops. Let's see how we'll work it out for large intestine and spleen, okay? So, oh, sorry, liver. This is liver, of course, liver. Write down the liver. 
and write down large intestine. The, the large intestine is on the bottom. Which lines are different? First and fourth. First and fourth for large intestine and for liver. Let's see which points are there. Large intestine is large intestine one and large intestine four. And um, for the liver, that will be liver one and liver four. Okay. And we write it down. One and four. One and four. Okay. So, if you go to the book online, you will, or anywhere, you will see the conversion for, for Zhu Yin Yang Ming will be pericardium 6 and 9, large intestine 1 and 4, stomach 45, 42, and liver 1 and 4. It works so well. But the worst thing is uh, Jing well points. And people don't like them. They're very potent. Uh, but sometimes they don't come back after needling to Jing points. So we have an option. Let's see. Let's change it and do it not in a vertical, but in a horizontal way, okay? So we'll do different, uh, we'll do it in a different way. Take it out, take it out, take it out, 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 everything out. Okay, line this, this, large intestine. Okay, so next to pericardium, we'll write the destination Y, which is large intestine. And next to large intestine, we'll write the pericardium. And we have to come up with the points. And we'll see that number, let me change the color. Number two and five will be different. Let's see large intestine. Number two and number five. Green. Let's see what our table says. Large intestine. Number two is large intestine two and number five is large intestine five. And for pericardium is eight and five. Okay, and let's write it down. Eight. And five. Two and five. And let's see what's going on with the stomach and liver. We may not even write it down. Okay, because they are next to each other. Or we may. So the points will be, of course, two and five, and of course, two and five. So let's see in our table. Let's 
for the stomach, the points will be 44 and 41. And for the liver, for the liver, there will be two and five. So we'll just write it down for the stomach, 44, 41, and for liver is two and five. And look how beautiful it is. It is not gene well points. All the dexagrams are in balance. The best characteristic of this treatment meridian conversion that everything is balanced here. It's like you cover the whole system with the same program. Okay. You can do diagonals. It's okay. But they won't work as well as. Um, the vertical horizontal conversion. Vertical works better than horizontal, I would say. But the horizontal works as well. So you can try. And why is that that vertical works better? Uh, I believe it's gene well points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More powerful. They are they are more potent. No. Okay. And now let's write down just the way, the order. How we work with meridian conversion. Why we do this? One day you may teach your students. And when the student asks, oh, master, please explain, why do we do this? You will not say that Dr. Tan or Ekaterina Fedotova said that. You would like this. You must come up with the explanation, right? So, uh, yeah. This is one of the reasons we study how we do this. Uh, Chao Chien also advised only two points to balance the whole uh, pattern. And uh, we can organize like a short um, meeting where we'll teach you. But you can find it in the books. But I tried these treatments and they do work. More, better or worse, but they do work. But only two points because people they don't like many needles. The less the better. All right. So the order. Just write it down for yourself. Number one. Choose the right pattern for treatment. For the treatment. Number two. Write down the hexagram, the the ID for each meridian. Don't forget to double ID. Yes, not three lines, but six lines. Choose the destination graph for each meridian. Vertical or horizontal? Mm. 
the, the, uh, the most popular method is the vertical conversion. And then you compare the ID meridian with ID with the destination gua. And then number five, you choose the point. It should be like two points on each meridian. Okay. Um, in some groups, I uh, go through all um, all meridian conversion for each pattern. But I think uh, it's too much effort and too much time. Because the main thing is the principle behind how we do this. It's the same. We write the, uh, the treatment and then we can work. And actually in the book, there are all the points. And I suggest just do it yourself. So we can speak about something else now, but not come up with exact drawing of each and every uh, passport ID and stuff. What, what, what about this? What do you think? Yes, because I think you understood. This is the main thing. We can, we can come back to it. I, I will just suggest we can go to, uh, um, we can do some case studies, mm -hmm. okay? Just to embrace the whole thing. Let me uh, let me find the um, uh, the all the patterns. And I will give you the homework if you don't mind. Because without suffering, we, we won't be satisfied. It's the whole rule for human beings. If something is getting very easy, you just, we just forget it. <laughs> I agree. Mm. Not very excited, but anyway. So let me... Uh, give you the okay here we are i would say i will give you the i suggest the homework for you okay so we have you will be emailed i will email to you each of you all the uh paperwork that you need i didn't do it especially because if something is given in advance, sorry, I'm very old fashioned in this way, possibly my, uh, um, yeah. So um, I would prefer to have a contact first and then give all the material, okay? Because when we already have something written, usually the students, I don't see their eyes. They dive into the written material or into presentation and they don't contact with the lecture. They are in their own world. But the seminar is a webinar. Webinar is the same because we have the same energy between us. I can see your faces, some of your faces, but anyway. Uh, yes. So all the papers will be mailed to you. Um, Tomorrow we relax on Monday. And for the table of 12 patterns, 
I will ask you to do meridian conversion and come up yourself with the points and write them down for yourself. You will just print it out, this, uh, uh, this table, and you will have the points and you just put it into your clinic on the wall. It's very easy. And then you will remember this, but you will do it yourself, not something is given, but I'll do it myself. And this is lovely, if you want to, of course, because everything is already given in the book, okay? So we have our patterns. And now I will just give you some description, some descriptions of my patients, and you will come up with the right meridian conversion pattern. We study meridian conversion, okay? Right. Uh, um, history of asthma. Ah, sorry. Uh, the, the lady, um, 40 years old, the history of asthma, palpitations, pain uh, in uh, low back pain, some problems with urination, they come and go, they come and go, she wheeze very uh, often sometimes, so weak bladder we call it, or overactive bladder. Well, Yeah, so that's enough. <laughs> These are main complaints. So uh, what, what? Ah, so she she can be bloated. Also, it's uh, related to certain foods, but it started like a couple of years ago. So it's not like the, it, it, it does bother you a bit. Could you please suggest the pattern? Mm. Yang Ming Tayin. Tayin Yang Ming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Poss uh, possible solution. Anything else? Shuyin Tayin, or for Shuyin Yang. Look, digestion was in the list. Mm -hmm. Asthma, heart palpitations, uh, low back, and urination. Look, we come to straight line. More magic. Camera front. Pardon? For, for a magical meridian. Of, of yes, I would say because heart, gynecal, uh, uh, bladder, asthma is there. So it's all goes to, but Taiyin Yang Ming as well. But it's more focused on the, on the, um, on kidney. So kidney is the core of low back pain also so uh we kidney uh urination so because so many problems on the meridian possibly the kidney meridian is sick we can do meridian conversion also because there are many complaints okay you remember i mentioned that kidney and liver share the same gua so the treatment that we came up for Zhu Yin Yang Ming will be the same as for four magic meridians. But instead of liver one and four, we put kidney one and four. Because liver is pum pum, pum pum, pum pum. Mm -hmm. And kidney is pum pum, pum pum, pum pum. They are the same. But, but we have the back pain and the kidney, uh can uh, equilibrate the the bladder too uh, oh. 
yes, it will contribute. It will. Because kidney will balance blood meridian. Mm -hmm. If the kidney is balanced, kidney meridian, it will treat the bladder. Yeah. Okay. Moreover, with meridian conversion, we are not treating the same problem. We tackle the whole system. We must understand it. So we don't expect that after the treatment, the, every point of the complaint is tremendously better. No, we treat the whole system. I applied this part on two lady. And uh, the uh, response after the treatment was that generally she feels more energetic. She feels better. The low back pain was more or less the same, but she feels more energy in the back. It's straight after the treatment, just one minute after. Uh, the breathing was the same but we didn't treat the asthma. And uh, uh, heart palpitations, you can't treat like, like this. It's a, it's a process, okay? And what treatment for the asthma, by the way? What pattern for the asthma? And would you do meridian conversion for asthma or not? Mm -hmm. Yes. Would you do meridian conversion or not? If just asthma, no. No. What what would you do? We agree on Tayin Yang Ming. Why would you not use Tai Yang uh, kidney and lung? No, no, we, we just, we, 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 just now, for now, we, we've chosen okay. Tai Yang Yang Ming, but it can be for magic meridians, for example. Okay? But now we, we let's, uh, uh, um, there are two forms of asthma. If it is allergic asthma, I would use Ju Yin Yang Ming and I will add kidney mm -hmm. if the pulse is low. If this is not allergic asthma, but caused by uh, phlegm and uh, Yang Ming is weak and phlegmy, I would choose Tai Yin Yang Ming. If you take the pulse and see that kidneys are weak, you add kidney. Kidney seven, for example. Okay. So coming back to Tai Yin Yang Ming. For asthma. Which points would you use? We, we agree, long, large intestine, stomach, spleen. Lung. Mm. Okay, two options. Lung, where are the lungs? Lungs are here. So lung, uh, lung seven, agree? Ashi, I put ashi around lung seven and it could be two points. Uh, normally lung seven is a good low point. Large intestine, ashi below, or upper, more proximal from large intestine five. 
So large intestine six, Ashi. Stomach. 36 and down, Ashi. Spleen nine. Perfect for asthma, Ashi and down. Right? Where the lungs are. Or you can do another image and see that ankles is the neck and where the lungs are around spleen six so you change your strategy the balance method is so good you just change it so that will be different and the guide is ashy always ashy the patient I treated for asthma recently, he felt immediately 90% better after this treatment. Stomach 40.5, Ashi, but I did the for allergic asthma, sorry. And uh, spleen six, around six, okay. And for logic, with bad stomach, for example, you do pericardium ashi. Just see pericardium ashi. It will be all painful. And you can add long seven. It's good. Large intestine, the same. Six, ashi. Stomach, the same. 40.5. Liver, kidney, around seven and around five. Beautiful. Works so well. Or liver three. You can do liver three because it's a general point, your own point. Or you can do fun. I just see where the body reacts. So we're not treating asthma with meridian conversion. This is what we have to remember. But if asthma is the additional condition to the overall junk, to the overall disbalance, and there are so many, you just treat the system. You, at least you support it. You let the body mm, treat itself. Okay? Very good. Guys, we did very well, I think. Because to me, the main thing is your understanding. Do you have any gaps um, in the material that we went through? Or well, everything is clear so far? And it, it's clear. Yeah. That's perfect. It's perfect. You know where the things went through. So uh, after the break, We'll go through uh, more patterns. I will give you description and you will come up with a treatment. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? So it will be more dynamic. And we will do it for half an hour. And then we jump for 12 magic points, which is beautiful. And then, uh, yeah. That, uh, so a lot of creativity in 12 magic points. You're happy with that? Yeah. Beautiful, and please write down your questions on the paper. So I hate the chat, so it's better to just to talk. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you in twenty-five minutes. Is this okay? Yeah. Great. See you after the break. Bye bye. Thanks. <laughs>